Hello YouTube. All right, so it's Metro here. It's been a long time since I made a YouTube video, um, but uh, this is worth making uh, an instructional video. Uh, we're doing an introduction to a product I've been working on for quite a long time. Uh, it's inspired by a multi-tool mod from a long, long, long time ago by a guy named Evil510. Uh, he made a hammer insert for the Leatherman Skella tool. And um, back in the day, um, 3D printing wasn't such a uh, easy, accessible tool that it is now. Um, <clears throat> also, the amount of free CAD software on the internet is uh, much more pervasive now than it was in the past. So this is the Skeletool Hammer Jammer. Uh, it is produced by Shapeways. Um, I've tried to include as many features as I possibly could um, without overloading um, the uh, actual tool itself. Uh, here's an older style um, original uh, Skeletool with the um, machined pivot screws um, and I wanted to show this one because it is an older one that has the frame that's a little bit tweaked out so what we want to do to install this hammer jamma is um, take this and then take another pair of pliers I'm sure anyone who collects multi-tools will have a bit more kind of like squeeze that in a little bit and then get that spring out a little bit so that this um, width is the same as this width so what's going to happen here um, the key to installing this um, hammer bit um, is using these tiny metric M2 threaded inserts and metric screws. Those look really tiny, but it's nice and snug when it's in there. So this hole corresponds to this hole right there. So I've kind of squeezed them in a little bit. It's still a little splayed out. So I'm going to Take this in and squeeze it just a bit just to close it up. Any pair of pliers will do just fine. But you see that gap is a little bit more consistent now. So what we're going to do is uh, drop in the insert there. And so now this is now able to be threaded and um, screwed into place. So this should just slide right in and nest in. It'll be nice snug fit. As you can see, the hole and the threads line up. Doesn't interrupt thing. There is a bit of a gap here, so you might wanna still close up that gap a bit more. Um, this is a bit tricky to do on camera. We're gonna try it anyways. Um, the screws I'm trying to collect into a kit so I can send them out. Um, also use a very obscure 1.3 hex key. Um, Probably when you install these, you want to use a bit of blue Loctite. I am currently not doing that, but uh, I will go over the features when I have it installed. All right, so you can see this is nice and snug here. Um, it nests right away, it touches the frame at many parts, and it touches the springs up here. So when you have a lot of force hanging out, um, there is going to be uh, a lot of contact area. A lot of force. Uh, prying, I wouldn't do a ton of prying on this um, just because it is just two bolts holding it in. Um, but opening a paint can, you know, some light prying, I wouldn't be pulling nails and stuff like that. Um, but it's, you know, available. So I'll go over the features. Obviously, this is a hammer, so you know, you want to be striking like this, or if you want to be doing like some really fine work, there is a hammer face on this side for some really, really small nails or something like that. Um, my previous uh, iteration of this had a pass through quarter inch uh, driver. So what I tried to do here, because there's really no need to have a pass through quarter inch driver, I tried to include something on this side so we can actually do um, some additional stuff. Um, so here's a four millimeter. That works out just great. I don't know how much torque you want to put on four millimeter, um, but it is available, uh, which is nice. And this is the standard quarter inch. It's a little snug. I might edit the file so that it's a bit more, um, has a bit more clearance, but it is a nice friction, uh, friction fit. Um, this is the matte black version of the finish on the 3D printed steel. So there might be some um, grit uh, that uh, might be like, I think it's sandblasted and then dyed on the outside. Um, so that's why it's not fitting in. Uh, my previous one just slid right in. And the last one here, which is controversial because some people think that a hammer face shouldn't have anything on it. Um, I really found it really useful to have a straight 
bit like that. Um, I've also dropped in my previous one some one millimeter by two millimeter um, magnets right at the bottom there. I just sort of stuck them on the edge here, put some super glue on it, dropped it in, and um, it's nice and tight. I really like this inline driver thing, even though Skeletal Tools already have the inline driver. It's nice because you can just, if you need to take it, you can slide the bit off from here, put it in, and then use it as a driver. So this is the Skeletal Tool Hammer Gemma, made by Metro Great Goods, produced by Shapeways. Um, this is in the matte black finish. Uh, very pleased with it. Very, um, I like how it uh, completes the look. Uh, it doesn't interrupt the um, carabiner whatsoever. It does add a bit of weight to it, um, which is okay. Uh, it's not, not too bad. I haven't weighed it for the, um, the actual weight, but it looks great. Uh, I think it'll look really good on the uh, Topo all black um, scale of tool that I have on the way. So anyways, uh, that's the installation video for this. Hope you enjoy.